Lesson 17 What is larva and how to get rid of it? An energy information or entity that has its own electromagnetic field is called a larva. Larva is a low-frequency energy entity that feeds on low-frequency energy. To do this, it is infiltrates in the energy informational field of a person. The existence of larva is not speculation, but a long-proven fact. Back in the 30s of the last century, a family of scientists Curly and made a gas discharge photo, and the images of the biofield of some people were found chimera-shaped and clearly alien objects. Various energy informational entities were found not only on the external contour of the biofield, but also inside the organs. Larva has three stages of development. First stage larva, which came out of our thought form, which we gave a lot of energy. When a person constantly scrolls through a problem in his head, from this thought form is born a larva that will sit on the energy system of the person who gave it energy. Such larva is very easily destroyed with the first practice of the red line. The second type of the same larva when it has already settled in. Such a larva, like a small clock, already sits inside the energy of a person and closes the energy channels to slow down or even stop the flow of energy and thereby reduce vibrations. When the larva sits inside and blocks the channel to some organ, a lack of energy is formed, and then stagnation, the energy of this organ begins to deteriorate, like water in a swamp and, unable to exchange energy with other organs, the damaged organ produces low frequency energy. Considering that each organ produces the energy of an emotion, the vibration of emotions is reduced. For example, if the larva is in the liver, the person becomes bilious and irritable for any reason. As an energy entity with consciousness, larva quickly realizes that the more of these negative emotions, the more nutrition. By sending certain images that encourage a person to act, the larva provokes its wearer to the desired reactions and emotions that provide a large amount of low frequency energy. Second stage This stage is differs in that the larva has not one but several bodies. When the larva becomes so large that it can no longer sit on some organ because then the organ will immediately stop functioning, and the person may die, it moves behind his back. These large larvae, like huge snakes, sit along the spine and block the cox and the point on the top of the head, from which the energy goes to the double and the spirit. So, they cut off the energy of a person, so that all the energy is, cooked exclusively inside and lowered in vibrations. Larva tries to do everything possible so that a person thinks about something a lot and for a long time but does not do anything so as not to waste the energy of the body. Since the energy to the spirit and the double is blocked, the third dandyan does not receive energy from above and the person cannot collect his thoughts. As a result, it turns out that there are many plans on how to implement them, a person will not figure out. A large larva can know 39 to feed on one person, so it starts to reach out to his close circle. First of all, the larvae are hooked to the energy of those who sleep in the same bed with the carrier and live together with him. Then the main carrier will have a large larva along the spine, and the others will have a small one, like a cloth. These are not individual larvae but parts of the same main larva and all feed their energy to the same entity. Afterwards, this larva is transferred to children. Just as we perform triangles to increase energy, so the larva can be recharged from several people at once, increasing its electromagnetic field. Such large larva eventually completely takes control of a person and O39's consciousness. When a person and O39's consciousness is completely under the control of the larva, then if his work was associated with working with his hands, the larva begins to bring clients. For example, a hairdresser works with hair, through the hair, the larva is hooked up to others, and then leads them to the same master to feed on their energy as well. If a person and O39's work is intellectual, they change their place of work because they are no longer able to think independently. This is well demonstrated in the film, Bury Me Behind the Skirting Board. In the film, the boy talks about his childhood. The grandmother in the family is a bright representative of the larva. And all relatives are connected with this larva. Grandma is constantly dissatisfied with everything and always expresses her dissatisfaction to everyone. 
The grandson, as a representative of high frequency energy, is often ill, and the grandmother always cares about the health of the grandson, but at the same time she blocks him, so that he does nothing this way more energy is downloaded. She even sleeps in the same bed with her grandson. The film also shows that the house is very dusty and dirty, the grandmother almost never cleaned up and this is a way of accumulating low frequency energy. When we do wet cleaning, the water removes the energy of low vibrations and replaces it with high frequency energy. The most characteristic moment, which clearly shows that the consciousness of the grandmother does not belong to her and has already faded when she falls to the floor, starts kicking and screaming, while tearing her face with her nails. The grandson is very afraid of such a seizure and, crying, asks, Grandma, what an O39 is wrong with you? To which the answer is received, go away, or I don an O39, T know you, I don an O39, T have a grandchild. Then the woman looks up and smiles, the ceiling is white. White this scene shows that the grandmother and O39's consciousness for a short moment broke through the lava she does not remember several years of her life, she does not remember her grandson, does not remember her house and the white ceiling in it. For several years a larva lived instead of the grandmother, and the woman and O39's consciousness was clouded. In addition to the usual ways to pick up a larva, you can get it as a gift. A well-known method of transferring a special gift from a hereditary witch or wizard to his successor is the transfer of the larva. When someone says that he is a hereditary wizard or witch in the seventh generation, it means that the larva has been passed down through the family seven times. This means that the witch is already a significantly grown larva, which took control of the human mind. All the knowledge that can be acquired with this gift, in fact, will remain inaccessible to the gifted, he will become just another avatar the carrier of the entity and the place of its safe habitation. For such a larva, which, in fact, sits in the gap between our and the astral world, it is easy to open the patient and O39's blocked energy channels. This is perceived by people as the healing abilities of the gifted. At the same time, the larva puts a part of itself into the cured, a small larva, connecting itself to another power source. It is quite difficult to cope with such a large larva. Even if a person has made a decision to get rid of the larva, an inevitable internal struggle begins, the outcome of which is almost impossible to predict. If a person is able to reconnect with his spirit he will receive help and support from it and may well cope with the larva. But to do this, the desire must be unshakable. With a clouded consciousness, when the larva completely controls the person, it will not be possible to remove it both from the inside and from the outside by someone else. At the same time, smaller larva her additional bodies on other people can be removed. If a person does not remove this larva himself, but someone else does it for him, then after getting rid of the energy parasite, the person immediately feels an incredible energy boost and a kind of inspiration and immediately suffers financial losses. This is due to the fact that a person undeservedly moved to another, higher level and the universe is restoring balance. Such people quickly fall under another larva, which is happy to occupy the vacant house. To avoid this, you only need to clean the larva yourself and at the same time strengthen your energy. Ordinary larvae no longer enter into a stronger energy, stronger larvae rush towards it. We clean out the stronger larvae and we become stronger ourselves. To people with a strong high frequency energy, the larvae are no longer hooked up, because they understand well that they will be killed. It may seem strange, but high-level practitioners want the larva to attach to them. This is a great indicator that helps you see where the energy is sagging. But larva do not want to be an indicator and avoid people with strong energy. Third stage at this stage, the larva become unimaginably huge. For example, consider the Pope and O39's concert hall, which is made in the shape of a huge snake. When people sit in the audience, they look at the stage in the form of the mouth of a huge snake. So, the third stage larva is so huge that it does not sit on one person or a group of several people but on millions of people. This parasite becomes an egregore, which in this example is a religious egregore, which even the building made in the form of itself. The reason for this lies in the fact that religious egregores really need to show themselves in our world only by catching to our world, 
they can extend their influence to many other parallel worlds, more or less close to our reality. If you look at the very stage of the concert hall, we will see a very unusual statue, as if some kind of entities is wrapped around a person this is just a person in the power of larvae. This religious egregore loves the energy of the heart, the energy of love and joy. Other entities that have become egregores feed on other people and O39s energy, liver energy, the energy of growth, kidney energy, lung energy, etc. To avoid falling under the influence of such large larvae that have become egregores, we perform the red line practice, raising our consciousness to the spirit and higher in subsequent practices. When our consciousness rises, we imagine our red line as a sword and strike at the entity lessons 18, 39 and 40. The higher we rise, the higher the vibration level of our energy, and accordingly, the stronger our blow will be. In the case of a religious egregore, we imagine ourselves as a point, imagine as a small black snake crawling towards us. If we raise our consciousness even higher, the snake becomes invisible, it is already like a small black line, no more than 5 centimeters. We pierce this entity with a red line, like with a sword. As we learn new practices and strengthen our own energy, our red line as a weapon will increase. In those cases, where a part of the witch suddenly hooked to a person is suddenly hooked in fact this is a very large larva, which has already captured the consciousness of its carrier, a different technique is used. We imagine people who have entities including ourselves. Then visualize that they all have transcendental lines you can imagine a whole crowd. We imagine these people and their red lines as a set of columns. Then, as all these columns merge into one, this is our column, our red line, which we strengthen with the help of other people. Then we hit the witch with this reinforced red line, but not only from us, but also from all other people. So, the witch and her part, the entity, will be subjected to a general attack. At this point, it can bring the consciousness high up in the area of the ionosphere, responsible for general information about all people and their power as a single data bank for all people. From this area of the ionosphere, it will be possible to cope not with part of the entity, but with the witch herself, who is trying to settle a part of herself to you, and remove part of it from our energy. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. All have a good mood and bye.